Songwriters education and training, basically uh, I work with groups of high school students over the whole second semester. Uh, I go in to the school once a week and we dissect and analyze uh, what makes a good song and why and then try to apply those principles to our own songs and then um, at the end of the project the kids that are uh, really taking the ball and running with it and really making progress and really excited about it get to go in and record at a professional studio. How do we form a chord from a scale? We are at this year Tommy Douglas, Centennial and Nutana and it's 10, 11, 12, a different combination of 10, 11, 12 uh, guitar classes. Uh, at each one of those schools. We're kind of going in the order that I would go actually writing a song. So, uh, first of all, who knows what a melody is? Um, there's a lot of technical things we talk about. Um, chord progressions, structure, performance, dynamics, lyrics, melody, etc., etc. Uh, and then we also talk about sort of intangible things like, like being willing to put yourself out there uh, and like confronting the fear of being uh, judged by your by your peers. <laughs> what? Come on, out with it. They're starting to relax with me, starting to be fairly comfortable around each other. I'm starting to be able to push them a little bit to like challenge them. The kids can get parent deaf to their teachers real quick, right? It's like the routine and do the thing and you have to discipline them and this sort of thing. So sometimes if you're trying to do something interesting it doesn't come off as interesting, it comes off as the, the, the next thing the person is saying with their head in front of you. And with, if, if you like sort of spice it up by bringing in and a third party and going like, this guy is pro. And whether the teacher themselves may or may not have those abilities, but if you go, we're bringing this guy in because he's awesome, they'll go like, oh, something different, a new human with the head talking and so forth. <laughs> then they're more likely to sort of be engaged in the process. We are at PulseWorks Audio Arts Recording Studio, our community partner for the project. Uh, we are recording the kids who have been applying what we've been learning. So uh, we've had six groups, which is more than we've ever had before. I think last year we just had four. Okay, we're about ready to start now. Okay. So I'll get you to put your headphones on. And we'll get you through there. No deal. How did it go? It was awesome. It was super cool. Jesse was super supportive in everything we were doing. I've had more experience than most people, so it's nice to be able to like bring my experience to the group, and it's really good in a group setting for sure. Totally worth it. Once you have the feeling of just amazing, <laughs> you're loving your own music, and everything is just clicking perfectly, it's the best feeling in the world. Like, but it takes a long time to get there. But once they're there, you can transfer it to other portions of your life. Shall we get started on some vocals then? Yeah. All right. Whoa. And it chills my bones and it keeps me living. Oh, the sad story, yes. If you're writing songs and letting out emotion, that's everything. That's completely just enhances your quality of life by so much. You're not dwelling on things, you just get them out in your music. It's awesome. Is that about the tempo you think? Okay, I guess it's more like 76. Brady. Okay. Recording has always been sort of like a holy ground for musicians. And many people, particularly young people, are too self-conscious to do it. Like, if you're driven to do it and you have the technology and you, you are consciously recording yourself all the time and hearing it back, that's fine. But most people are too scared to do it. In this part of the class, they have to do it. It's an expectation. Like, sing and play the thing into the computer and listen to yourself back and then tell me how much you hated it and then fix it. So immediately they're forced to address their insecurities and they get more and more confident and more and more and more excited every day. I'm seeing them attend more and actually participate more than your average teenager. Like they're really, they're really alive. It's, it's interesting. It's kind of like experimenting, like, hmm, what does this note sound like with this note? You know, just uh, seeing what you can put together, really. Seeing, seeing what kind of uh, 
story the sound can portray, if you know what I mean. When you actually write the song and, and, and record it and hear yourself back, you have a chance for self-reflection that you don't get usually on the other side of the, I want to say the classical and the band world. And there's zero things wrong with that world. I love that world. And you learn about yourself. At some point you realize that, that you're not working on the music anymore, you're working on yourself. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. And I, still... I just think you gotta sit yourself down and say, okay, I'm gonna do this. And just, you gotta work through it step by step and it'll eventually happen. And even if it's not that good, it's your first try at something. So really you can only get better. So, yeah. It you know takes some of the black box out of the out of the recording process and out of the creative process. You know you like get down, get your hands dirty, and like and make mistakes and mess up and write some stuff that you don't really like. Uh, and well, what didn't you like it? Okay, well don't do that next time, and you'll probably like it more. You know, for people who are interested in just music or if they want to record their own stuff, this is a way to learn how to work all the equipment and all that. And it's just good practice if you're going to be doing it. And even if you aren't, it's still stuff that you can learn. And learning is never really a bad thing. So, yeah. As soon as this program really got rolling, the students who had more of a transient behavior pattern stopped having a transient behavior pattern. It was, it was great. And they, they were like on time and ready to go and asking me what the next thing was earlier in the day. It was great. Let's come up with some, some lyrics for this chorus. Natana, we wrote a song as the class. Um, it's a smaller class and um, just sort of the, the feel of that school sort of lends itself to everybody collaborating together. We wrote um, a simple sort of pop song just like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. And uh, we wrote it about a historical figure that has a connection to Saskatoon. Um, and used the abilities of the people in the class to perform on the track, which we'll be doing very soon. So we, we learned about uh, uh, form, lyrics, um, uh, chord progressions, and this sort of thing, and created it all from, from scratch. None of us had anything like ready solo that we were gonna do. And the whole quarter, I was just like, oh my gosh, let's make a song together, because I heard that they made last year. And that was really cool, and I wanted to be a part of something like that. I just kind of had this little guitar part pop out, and it felt kind of like old-timey, Old West trains and horses and chases and getaways. Sort of like if someone was sitting across from you, like, telling a story. Next thing you know, we're just, like, throwing out ideas and different, like, thoughts and possibilities and, like, where our brain goes. and. We actually came up with a kind of interesting one. It's about Tugan Cohen, if you know who that is. Yeah, we kind of, we were kind of stumped at first. We didn't really know what to write about, but finally got something together quickly too. Next thing you know, we're like whipping out at the computer and like Googling him and learning all this stuff about him. And then I guess that's when we decided what we were going to write the song about. He's followed this guy named... Because he had been like uh, transient his whole life, really, and they finally sort of came across a group of people that accepted him. Um, across racial lines, because both as a Jew and a Brit and a Canadian, kind of, he really never fit in anywhere and then met a bunch of Chinese people and for some reason it just kind of clicked and found himself in what I want to call like old Chinatown in Saskatoon, like 20th and C. He actually saved a shopkeep, like a restaurant owner I think it was. I think the owner was being held at gunpoint or something like that and basically he saved the day, big hero. And a uh, Chinese general looked at that and actually sent him over to China to be his personal bodyguard. He, he became like a figurehead for not being a racist, essentially. And that was a big deal, like 1919, right? Exhale. It's like, it's very centered around things like racism and stuff. And I think that's really cool that we made a song like that because it was just out of the blue and we didn't know this guy, but now this is a song about racism and friendship and journeying to something, I guess, greater than yourself regardless of other people's beliefs. So it's, it's a really cool song and it just, I don't know, it gives me a good vibe.
with the, the themes we have going on in education today, anti-bullying, uh, accept everybody, which is what should have been happening since day one, but now it's finally we're addressing it as, as a profession. This ties in perfectly to what we're doing, and the kids were all over it. They were like, this guy is a bit of a hero. I wish that more people behaved like him. And now they're, they're connecting their lives to a historical significance. They're learning about China a little bit and this sort of thing. It's, it's really interesting. It's kind of like a, like a chill song. Like, I'm going to do some good, I'm going to do some amazing stuff today. That's kind of what makes me feel like. All of us I know. Held my head high to the sky said, Let's draw with imagination Fall right through this fascination Let's dive head first and make decisions You're looking so pale, please don't feel like you failed I just had to cure a terrible age Just had to cure a terrible